Hello? Doctor? Yes, Mr. President. Well, I just uh, wanted to tell you that uh, how mighty proud I was of a lot of folks uh, uh, last Tuesday. And uh, Hubert Humphrey left here about 30 minutes ago, and I still haven't shaved. I got off my my bathrobe. I was up all night tonight before, and I thought I'd call a half a dozen or so folks and tell them how much I appreciated their confidence and what a good job I thought they'd done and how they justified our faith and how many how many more now we've got to help uh, get out of their bondage. Yes, well, we, we are certainly all very happy about the outcome. It was just such a great victory. And I certainly appreciate your calling. It, uh, we have some bright days ahead, I think. Well, it was a it was a great tribute to the uh, to the intelligence and the judgment, and the patriotism of the Negro people that uh, uh, they couldn't mislead them and they couldn't uh, fool them. And yeah. they, your, their leaders, uh, their leaders, I think, made great progress from them. And I know they all uh, all take great pride in uh, uh, in uh, your great honor. And uh, I wired you the other day, but I was moving pretty oh, yeah. fast, and I. I don't know what day it was. As a matter of fact, I don't know where I am hardly. I, I'm kind of oh, like I, I'm like Dr. Theodore Francis Green. You know, he was at one of Ms. Mester's parties one time looking a little book. I asked him, I said, Mr. Chairman, he's about 87 years old. And I said, what are you trying to do? See where you're going from here? And he said, no, I'm trying to find out where I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you really need some real rest. I know what you've gone through the last few days. We'll be back up there working on our program, and uh, we're going to have a, we're going to spend a lot of time with Shriver on our poverty thing. I wish you'd give a little thought to it, because that offers uh, a lot of opportunity for uh, our young people that yes. have been denied, and we got nearly a billion dollars this year, and mm -hmm. and we we ought to get it going uh, around the first of the year, in pretty good shape. And then next year we can do it a lot bigger and expand it, and it offers a lot of economic hope too. And uh, I'll be calling on you, and we'll all have another meeting and uh, uh, try to get our heads together on the things that are ahead. We got this behind us now, and we got to move on the next four years and make some advances and uh, yes. I'll be I'll be in touch with you well good good and again let me congratulate you and say what a great moment we think this is for our country it was a great victory for the forces of progress and a defeat for the forces of retrogress and uh, I think we we have some great challenges and opportunities ahead and we are we're all with you Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. I just want to give you a ring. Give my best regards to the madam. Sure will. She sure. sure will. She had a hard run. She took on a pretty hard assignment, didn't she? I'm telling you, but she did it beautifully and eloquently. Yeah, well. We're all mighty proud of it. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye -bye. We'll be seeing you when we get back to Washington. What's that? I'll be calling you when we get back to Washington. We all, we all ought to get together and kind of... Uh, see where we go from here. Very good. Well, that's what I wanted to do, and uh, 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 that'll be fine. You you get back to Washington when? I'll be back probably in the middle of next week. Fine. All right, Mr. Uh, President. Thanks so much for bye. calling. Bye. Mm -hmm.